What's up, y'all? I got a little short video on this blazing hot day. Oh man, what do you think of all that, Viper? Says, man, I'm just gonna sleep. You can't really go outside because, well, I don't know. I take them outside for a little bit, but man, it's like 100 degrees outside. Like, Jesus. So, uh, yeah, I, uh, I got something. Uh, so, well, I bought a new boat and I bought something kind of for it. Here's like some of the packaging. It comes with like this cool little case. I guess it's in the in the uh, title of the video, so you guys probably already know at this point, but I guess you can look there as well and see that it's EcoFlow. So um, the solar panel hasn't came yet. I think it's supposed to come in the mail tomorrow, but basically I, uh, so like my boat doesn't have a generator and I've had, I've had problems uh, trying to get enough power for that thing. But one thing I'm thinking about on that boat is it has a big nose on it and I'll show you this guys at some point, but uh, Having this little solar generator from uh, from EcoFlow is gonna be kind of cool. Now I got the Delta. I didn't get like one of the crazy ones, which are cool, but I also didn't go like low end. So like this one has 1300 watts, and uh, something I thought was kind of cool is I got this little portable generator here that we use in the bedroom, especially whenever it's like super crazy hot outside, which it is right now. Um, you know, we just run this and turn on the AC in the house. I feel like that saves a little bit of energy. Uh, maybe not a lot, but maybe just a little bit. But uh, so this thing, I think it's supposed to use like 11 to 1200 watts. So I was like, ooh, I don't know if it's going to run this. But so yeah, as you can see right now, uh, the fan is on and, you know, that's plugged in there right there. So uh, it's currently using just like 42 watts. So not too bad, really. So it could run this for 32 hours just with the fan at high speed. So that in itself is kind of cool. Um, you know, and then, you know, charging phones and stuff like that on there, which is pretty cool. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that's kind of cool, but, so I was going to switch this over to AC and show you guys this, uh, we'll see what happens. Uh oh. <laughs> Damn, <I'm> fucking... <laughs> okay. Well, there it goes. All right. Uh, yeah, so, uh, apparently it's only using around 800 or so. I had it running earlier, I think that's why it took a little, long, little bit of time there to turn on. <laughs> I really don't feel like editing this video, so I'm just going to leave it in there, so I hope you guys enjoy that. But uh, yeah, pumping all that hot air outside, and you know, I know these things aren't super efficient, but I had a, you know, whenever I had a camper, which I don't think I ever showed you guys, but I had a little camper, and it worked out really well in the camper, uh, and uh, let me turn mine down just a bit, like keep it at 70, but... Um, but yeah, it actually worked pretty well in the camper, and uh, you know, I sold the camper, uh, and I just kept this because why not? I don't know. So yeah, it's only gonna run this for apparently an hour, but uh, you know, just the fact that it can run this is kind of cool. I'm getting closer to a thousand now, but the fact that it's able to start this is pretty cool because you know, air conditioners they use a lot more electricity when they're starting. So uh, yeah, I just thought that was kind of cool. Thought I'd show you guys this really quick. Once I actually get this on the boat and everything, I'll let you guys know uh, how everything looks and works and all that cool stuff. But, uh, yeah, stay cool out there, everybody. Uh, I'll try to make another video of the boat here pretty soon. But uh, hope you guys are all doing all right. Hope you guys are able to afford gas these days. I feel like my last video I talked about high gas prices, and it's only gotten worse. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll see you later.